About 3 million Americans have atrial fibrillation, or AFib. And while blood thinners can drastically decrease their stroke risk, new research shows the drugs could be seriously damaging their kidneys. What we saw that at about two years, about a quarter of people had at least a 30% decline in their kidney function. Mayo Clinic cardiac electrophysiologist Dr. Peter Noseworthy helped lead the study that looked at which drugs caused more damage. That afforded us an opportunity to compare the drugs to each other. And what we see is that patients taking the newer class of drugs, apixaban, rivaroxaban, and dabigatran, had lower rates of kidney function decline in comparison to those taking warfarin. And while risk of kidney damage may sound scary... I actually think that this study is quite good news for patients with atrial fibrillation. For so long, we only had one option, warfarin. It was cumbersome, and we know that kidney function decline is very common in this group. But perhaps the new drugs offer some, uh, some benefit in terms of improved safety. Dr. Noseworthy says patients should keep taking their blood thinners, but talk to their health care provider to make sure they're on the safest one for them. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Ian Roth.